You remember a few weeks ago, one of Trudeau's top ministers sent out this tweet that kind of insinuated that jobs in the energy sector were meaningless. She, she was talking about a post-COVID world and having quote-unquote meaningful jobs and then posted this article um, suggesting that um, jobs in the energy sector were, were meaningless. And on top of that, you'll hear a lot of um, the people in Trudeau's cabinet, Trudeau himself, talk about you know, diversification of Canada's economy, et cetera. The one thing that they all fail to understand is that the wealth created by some of Canada's primary industries, like natural resources, energy, agriculture, they produce a big part of the GDP and they create something called receptor capacity or investment capacity for new technologies, which in turn diversify the economy. And one of the big areas that we see this in is clean technology. Actually, Canada is a world leader in the development of clean technology. In fact, prior to entering politics, this was a world that I touched in in, in my previous job. And it's something that we should be proud of. The thing is, is when you see a major industry like the energy sector have a precipitous de decline like we've seen in the last five years, a lot of it generated by Justin Trudeau's government and their policies, that capacity to invest in clean technology or, consider, or continue that research or allow these technologies to be adopted in Canada, it dries up and logically so. so there are impacts to seeing the energy sector decline on these quote unquote meaningful jobs. Now, Justin Trudeau's minister from Montreal, who's in charge of Western economic diversification, was in front of our committee this week. I asked her some questions about this. You've got to watch it. My questions are directed to Minister Jolie. Um, the uh, amount of funding that Canadian companies typically invest in clean technology on an annual basis is about $1.4 billion. I'm just wondering if the minister can tell the committee if she knows what percentage of that is invested by oil and gas companies. Um, I'm not a minister in charge of energy, uh, but definitely I can forward that question to my colleague, Seamus O'Regan. Well, it's it's actually... A pretty important question for a minister who's in charge of Western diversification because the clean tech sector is a big part of that diversification. I'm just wondering if you'd want to hazard a guess, given that you're the minister in charge of that, of how much, uh, what percentage of $1.4 billion the oil and gas sector spends on clean tech? Well, you've been the minister in charge of WD, so you know ministers don't hazard guests. But what you know also is WD is definitely there to diversify the economy. And we're there to support the clean tech sector. And uh, definitely we'll be there to support more funding through IRA okay, well, and also through WD. It, it's actually it's actually 75%. So 75% of Canadian corporate expenditures on clean tech come from the oil and gas sector. Um, have you done any analysis on how much that's going to decrease by this year, given the devastation to the energy sector? Well, we know that the, the energy sector is devastated. And I hear you, Michelle. I know this is tough in the people you represent in in in, in your neck of the woods. You know, I'm, I'm but, really but in Calgary and with the platitudes on 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 that particular issue. So forgive me if I, I don't want to hear I'm, it. I'm, I'm sorry, the Michelle. The point I'm my, trying to my, make. I the can't point hear I'm you well. What make. did you say? The point I'm, that I'm, I'm sorry, trying to make the line is, is that choppy. 70, The point that I'm trying to make is that 75% of clean tech investments in Canada come from the oil and gas sector, and that's about to significantly drop given the crisis that the energy I'm sector. I'm sorry, is Madam in. Chair, I can't hear her well. Okay, one moment. We're just going to check and see. I'm going to just pause the clock, uh, Madam Rempel Garner. We're going to just check the the your connection. It's convenient. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Um, so, so the reality is, is that that's a big hole in diversification efforts. Your colleague, Catherine McKenna, posted a tweet recently that talked about the COVID-19 recovery and said that uh, recovery efforts should be focused on meaningful jobs. Would you characterize the jobs in the energy sector, let's say rig workers, 
chemical engineers, people that are responsible for oil and gas development? Would you characterize those as meaningful jobs? I think all jobs are meaningful in the country. And I think we're in a, so, we're, we're really in a, a adventure right now or like a mission to save all jobs. So then why have you not provided any meaningful support to the energy sector in terms of, for example, some of the, the main issues that the energy sector has been bringing, bringing up, like uh, asset or government-backed asset to access to credit or, or, or anything. I mean, the energy sector itself has said that the or, uh, Orphan Well Program is not going to do anything. So how can you make that assertion, claim to be the minister for WD, and then have support a government that's done nothing to support the energy sector? Well, the WDI's idea is to make sure that there's greater diversification. So we want to make sure that we increase the funding of WD and support businesses that are going through cash crunch, crunch right now. Have you, what, as what, the minister for I, I'll WD, just finish my answer. Has, so I, as well, I think that uh, we need to work with the oil and gas sector and, that's, and with Premier Kenny and with Premier Mo. And that's exactly why we came up with this new funding. You were saying that there was no credit and no support to the oil and gas sector, I, I, I want to correct you because that's false. We just came up with a new support to help them well, everybody uh, make in Alberta sure they have knows, access to credit. Everybody knows that what you've provided and every industry report has said that it's not enough. So here you are as the minister of WD, you don't even know how much the oil and gas sector provides for clean technology. I'm just going to ask you, are you, as Minister of WD, pressuring Minister Morneau to make, come good on his province, a promise of over a month ago to provide adequate support for the energy sector and the workers in Alberta? Well, I'm always there to defend the interest of all Canadians and making sure that we are there to support the economy and the environment. And I'm there also to support, through WD, the people that are facing real challenges in the West. And people in Alberta know that WD is there for them. And I had a good conversation even with the Stampede, the owner didn't answer my the question. CEO of the Stampede yesterday. Thank you. And if you want to have more information about that, Madam it will Minister, be a pleasure to have a conversation. That's the time we have. Notre 